Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're doing another episode on the dream game and I have some, I guess, big news? I almost want to say sad news, but uh, I don't think it'll be sad in the long run. When I started this game, I wanted to do like a semi-realistic vibe, but we have not even one street done. And as you can see, it already takes a very long time to load in your character. And that could be is like because of all the trees and the, the shrubs and stuff. Uh, it could be because of how many parts are going to be in these buildings it could be a lot of different things and sadly i think that means i can't really do the realism vibe now i do want to have the locations from chicago because i do still want this to be sort of based in chicago so i'm gonna have all of the real locations in chicago that are the points of interest but i'm not gonna be able to build it uh sort of one-to-one -one how i planned to another reason i can't build it one-to-one -one is when we have fast motorcycles straight roads that just cut off abruptly uh, it, it probably won't be the most fun to play. So I've had to do quite a bit of thinking for how we're gonna progress this series. And uh, here's here's what I'm at, all right? So first things first, we're going to have the points of interest, like the misguided shop, etc., from Chicago, but the layout of the world is not going to be the same as Chicago. Also, we're gonna go for a slightly lower poly vibe but not full out cartoon i'm thinking the vibe of like jailbreak or mad city these games are great examples of bigger maps but still using roblox terrain and having a bit more depth to them than just like a smooth plastic map let's go ahead and hop into those real quick so i could show you guys kind of what i'm talking about all right so we're loading on into mad city just so i can show you guys sort of the vibe i think i'm gonna go for now this is a bit sad to me. Oh my gosh, I need to stretch the screen over some more. There we go. This is a bit sad because I did want like a more realistic vibe to this game. Just to capture more of the bike life people and maybe get them over to Roblox as well. Uh, at least for the winter months. But it doesn't overly seem like that's going to be possible. So let's go ahead and grab a character. I forgot kind of how this game works. Um, e, are we the Flash? All right, now we're the Flash. And how do we get out of here? <laughs> Dang, we are quick. Can we fly though? I don't think we can fly. Okay, so here's their map. Ooh, they don't use actual Roblox water, but they still have a very cool... Nice, that's sick. Anyways, uh, I have to get out of this now. For being the Flash, you certainly are not good in water, man. Like the opposite of a turtle, bro. All right, so here's Mad City. It is a very simple build overall. Uh, I want it to be a little bit more realistic than this, but at this point in time, it looks like something like this is what I'm gonna have to go for. Hopefully a little more realistic. This is a lot more cartoony than I remember. So I guess we're probably gonna end up somewhere in the stylized department with this game. Slight realism, uh, slight cartoonism, I, I don't know, but oh, I guess we just gotta get to work. Today, let's make the setup for the actual city. So the, uh, the base layout, okay? All the roads, everything like that. Let's get it. All right, guys, you're about to see something that could only be described as a mess. Anyways, here is our new city layout, okay? I went on Google Maps, typed in city roads, and then just scrolled forever till I found, like, something that looked like it would be good for us. And this is what we end up with. I think I'm going to connect it on the other side as well, and all of these corners will have curved uh, corners on them. There's not going to be any sharp corners except for, like, main intersections. And I scaled it up until all these roads could fit two cars on them. This map is bigger than a base plate, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. And we have tons of room to fill in tons of different objects. So with this, we now need to add a sidewalk to every single road and color them and add the texture for the road, which I'm not exactly sure how to do. Because if we union it, we can't get the stripes on every road. If we don't, I just, I, I genuinely don't know, guys. But by the next time you see this, you'll probably see colored roads with sidewalks, hopefully, and maybe some terrain? I, I don't know. But I'm very excited with the new way this is going, and we have a layout, like a full layout for the game now. 
and we'll be able to just drive around like meow, meow, you know everything it's gonna be amazing guys all right my dudes the time has come oh my gosh guys i'm i'm so bad with this new monitor dude like I, you have to readjust your oh lord i'll learn someday anyways everything has sidewalks we have terrain and i have a very good idea for the actual layout of this itself i'm happy that we have sort of these super big turns like these perfect turns guys and it goes on both sides they don't sync up with the same roads and i did that on purpose just so there's a, a little bit more playability right if it did sync up and it was just one continuous loop uh, i don't know i feel like people just keep doing that over and over again but like this so you start here you can go around boom go around this way and now you're somewhere else you could turn either way if you go this way you're gonna loop back around like this it's just it's just awesome okay so now we have our new roads our new layout for the dream game and guys uh i i don't i don't want it to be like really super cartoony so I'm gonna figure that out. I promise you guys, there will be some nice custom textures with the material manager. I'll be doing those probably on the live stream Friday. Hopefully I can get this up Thursday, but if I don't, it's gonna get up on uh, after the live stream. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's looking so good. In fact, let me show you guys my plan of attack for the map real quick that, I, that I'm kind of going to do on the live stream. All right, guys, so this is my scribbly mess. Anyways, here's how we're going to do it. We're going to cut this out so it's not a square base plate that looks ugly and just ununique, to be fair. We're going to cut it into the shape of an island. So this will all be on an island. And then we're going to have the road come off the island and hover over the water. I think that'll be really cool cool and then both of these huge loops are going to be going through tunnels in the mountains yes you heard me right and then over here we're gonna have desert on this half uh we're gonna have mountains of course all around the map and then water all around the outside this is gonna be super sick and i think at the very least i could get the painting of the map done today and maybe even the shaping of this island even though shaping the island ooh we're gonna try we're gonna try so for the shape i want to have like sort of the same angle that i had with this screenshot which is like kind of right up here and i'm gonna go to our terrain tool editor yes and we want subtract guy box or no we're gonna use this we're gonna make it quite big you think this goes through it yes this does go through the whole thing and now our strength uh i don't think that's a thing on this okay here we go guys we're gonna start shaping this out i'm gonna cut it uh all right so honestly we just want to cut through right here in a cool shape oh this is actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. We're going to cut through right here. Perfect. Let's smooth that out a little bit. There we go. And now we just have to get rid of all of this excess and we have our main island. I'm going to do that real quick and then I'll be back. And boom, the island is cut out. Very nice. Very easy. Let's, uh, what do we want to do next? We have quite a few things. I guess we can paint where we want the desert. That makes sense. Let's pop up this right over here. Nice. And let's go back to our editor, paint and desert. Uh, sand. Yes. Now that looks like we're going to kind of carry it i'm gonna draw the line and then we can fill it in here in a second so i want it to be like kind of naturally going like this and we're gonna come back out like so and like this now this half will all be desert next step to making this map look fantastic is going to be adding decoration onto the grass aka adding grass to the grass but it's called decoration for some reason there we go and now we have to go through all of the roads and trace them out by painting them with uh not toolbox not part oh my god i'm flopping editor paint and then we need leafy grass and this is gonna have to be a lot smaller maybe this square would actually work quite well like that so now we have to go through the whole game and trace it out just like this uh over all of the roads except for the desert because yeah desert doesn't have grass growing in all right guys now that we have that done we are gonna give the roads a texture like i said i don't want this to be all smooth plastic so first off we're gonna try a couple things that roblox has to offer and if nothing sticks out nicely we will make a custom material uh no this doesn't look bad if we made it darker actually like and I'm gonna have to fix all the Z fighting as well, but we'll do that here in a second. Kinda like this. What if we made it honestly though? I kinda like it. Like this sort of a color. I think, I think I'm gonna run the roads like this, guys. We're gonna use asphalt and this color. Now I gotta select all, oh my god. Actually guys, I just got the best idea ever. So I was about to go through all of this, trying to click on everything right and all that stuff. Instead, 
I'm gonna just ungroup it. As you can see, now we have nothing, oh, almost nothing. Let's grab these and these, ungroup those, and then delete all these empty models. All we have to do is grab this road. We want this color. We're gonna grab our magic wand tool and legit change color. That's gonna take a while to load. <laughs> We've clicked literally everything. Okay, so I can select colors. I just can't paste in a color and change the material. That's tough. I thought I had a shortcut. There we go. We just separated it into groups. So now we have one group for the road and one group for the sidewalk. We're going to select all the parts within the road. And now we can change our color. Perfect. And our material, we're going to switch to asphalt. Nice. That's looking very nice, I must say. Now, for the sidewalk, I don't know if there's really going to be anything we could do. We're going to try concrete and hope for the best. Um, I mean, yeah, I think that looks all right. Sure, let's run with it. Anyways, I think that is going to wrap up the video for today. If you guys did enjoy and you